hello from the most expensive accommodation I have ever paid for. We are in Esbjerg in Denmark. We've crossed north from Germany. It took four trains and a whole day and <laughs> it was such a mission. But it is doable and it's relatively easy. I went from Hamburg to Esbjerg over the border. Now Esbjerg is not a major city so there's not really the supply and demand for hostels so I've had to get a kind of B&B. &B. It was the cheapest one and it was still 55 euros. Now for context the cheapest accommodation I paid for on this trip was in Prague where it was 5 euros a night so this is 50 euros more expensive. And what do you get for the privilege? Well I've got my own room which is the first, this trip, the first time I've had my own room. And I don't think there's actually anyone else staying here because it's not a massive tourist destination. So I can show you the other areas so I don't think there's anyone else around. So for 55 euros a night, you don't even get your own bathroom in Denmark. This is a communal bathroom. And you get a communal living room, which is super nice to be fair, massive TV but it's just me, so I'm not really here to watch TV. And then you get a pretty nice kitchen. Now this is exactly what I imagine a Scandinavian kitchen to look like. Just clean, bright, <laughs> simple. It's painful, man. I'm here for two nights. That's 110 euros. Do the maths. How many days would that have got me in Prague? That's a lot of days. But it is my first time in Denmark. It's a country that I've wanted to go to for a little while to complete the kind of Scandinavian loop. So I didn't want to just go to Copenhagen and just be like, oh yeah, I've done Denmark, I've been to Copenhagen. I wanted to go somewhere else as well. So we're on the opposite side of the country to Copenhagen and we get to experience a different side of Denmark to just the capital. Now for breakfast, thankfully what makes it worth the 55 euros a night is you get Lipton's yellow label tea, my all time European favourite. There's so much of it in the kitchen. So that is worth 55 euros every day. And I went to the supermarket, we're gonna try some Romkugler. No idea what they are, these very testicular looking treats. That's what drew me to them. <laughs> this is like my first unboxing video. Unboxing a scrotum. <laughs> Why do they have to sell them in packs of two? Oh, I can't fit it in my mouth. <laughs> this is not the direction that I wanted the vlog to go, but anything for the views. <laughs> Oh wow, that is so dense, mm, it's really sweet. It's not the texture that I was expecting, it's kind of like a cookie dough. I guess I was expecting more of a like cakey texture. Very good, mm, very healthy and nutritionally balanced breakfast. <laughs> right, let's start the day. Not too bad today, only minus two degrees. Yesterday was minus four, so feeling pretty toasty actually. If you want an idea of what Esbjerg seems to be like, residential, really big, nice houses, lots and lots of space, nothing too overly characteristic. It seems like everything's relatively new, uh, but so, so nice. Actually, geographically, if you look at it, it's not a million miles away from the coast of the UK, so the weather's pretty similar, it's not worlds apart. I always had this idea that Denmark was really far north, really cold and really alien land. This is pretty similar to some places I've been to in the UK. It's just like a really nice housing estate. I'm now leaving the city behind and we're walking along the main road out of Esbjerg on foot for some reason because it didn't occur to me to look for public transport. Never occurs to me. I just assume you can walk everywhere and that's how we've ended up <laughs> walking along this uh, grassy verge. I also love that over here there's a bench on the side of the main road so you can just sit and look at the main road and also the uh, industrial part. This would be your view if you sat on that bench. I'm not really here for the city of Espia because there's not a whole lot going on. It's just a nice quiet city. I can see the appeal of living there. You get a big house. It's very peaceful, very spacious, really nice place 
to bring up a family, I imagine. They have a free public toilet, which may not seem like a big deal, but it's such a big deal after being in Germany for three weeks where they charge you to go to the toilet everywhere. I paid to go into a museum and then I had to pay to use the toilet after I paid to use the museum. It makes me genuinely quite angry that they capitalise on having to urinate. This is nice and it's really warm. It's a lot warmer than my apartment. I don't know why I paid 55 euros a night when I could just be staying here for free and it's actually a lot nicer. However, I did pay one time in Germany and the toilet cleaned itself after I used it. We're in the UK worrying about Brexit while in Germany the toilets are cleaning themselves. So this is the thing, Miniskid vid have it or men by the sea. Four massive sculptures of men looking out at the sea, we're by the seaside. Pretty rare to see snow on the beach. But this is why I'm here, because Germany was so landmark intensive. There was so much history, so much stuff that I wanted to do, like a tick list. Want to do this, want to do this, want to do this. Packed it all into three weeks. I just wanted to wander around into the natural abyss, and Esbjerg seemed like the right place for it. And being here now, this is exactly what I wanted. These things are huge and if you follow their gaze over the North Sea, I mean like way, way over, then they're actually staring in the direction of Hull or kind of Scarborough. If you're around Grimsby or that kind of lovely area of the UK, take comfort in the fact that these giants are staring at you at all times from Denmark. God damn it, I've already hatched one of those. There are some very nice houses along this beach walk. Proper Fresh Prince of Bel Air tier houses. Imagine that, look, this balcony, and you just wake up in the morning, look out at the ocean as you have your avocado and quinoa and blueberries and all the other superfoods on rye bread. Someone is doing very well, very well indeed. Also, it's starting to snow. I'm not regretting my decisions at all. I'm having a great holiday. What am I doing with my life? So it's been about two and a half hours since I left the apartment. I've uh, sat down for lunch on this abandoned, washed up raft thing. I feel like there's a story here. For lunch, we've got some uh, rice cakes, some bananas, some uh, Nussfrüsch mix, some flips, peanut crisps, and when in Scandinavia, dime bar chocolate. It's been walking now for about three and a half hours and we finally made it into the abyss. Got a really cool uh, frozen pond here. Very typical of the abyss. Some of the fun side effects of staying out in the cold for too long that I've experienced. Uh, if you breathe through your nose too much, the cold air just goes straight to your brain and you get a headache. My feet have literally cracked open because it's so cold and every step is very painful. And yesterday, really fun one, I had temporary blindness. Um, <laughs> after walking around in the cold, I went into a warm room and lost my vision for about 20 minutes. So, I mean, just some of the really um, fun things from being being out here. I'm having a great holiday. Having a really great time. It's so cold. Ah! This is meant to be a lake, completely frozen over. Um, the weather's got really quite bad and the sun is setting quite fast as well. So 
I'm keen to get moving. <laughs> There's some footprints here on this path. I think they're too small to be wolf footprints. I think we're okay because it's just a fox. I really hope it's just fox footprints and not wolves. I don't think it's a wolf. Let's hope. Well, we did it. We found the abyss. How do we know? I'm at a crossroad and every single way looks exactly the same. They all go into the vast nothingness. Whichever way I pick, I will be consumed by the almighty emptiness of the world. And that was the aim of today's vlog. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a blizzard, so I think I'm going to wrap the vlog there. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back soon, hopefully, if I manage to find my way out. Subscribe for more vlogs and more... Uh, more falling through ice. <laughs> great content, Rob. I'm sure they'll come back for that. Have a great week and see you next week for another travel vlog. I'm going to go into the abyss now. Bye.